This question asks us to decide whether an amide or an acetate will more easily deprotonate an alcohol in an acid-base reaction. This is a pKa question. We're trying to find the strongest base uh, of these two because the stronger base will be more reactive and be more will more easily deprotonate a acid. So we need to figure out what the conjugate acids are of these bases, what the pKa's are, and then use our KEQ formula to calculate the KEQ for each possibility. And the reaction with the larger KEQ is the one that will happen faster. So let's take a look. The pKa of the starting alcohol is approximately 16. Uh, the alcohol will react with one of these two bases to form the alkoxide and the conjugate acid of the base. So let's draw those in as well. The conjugate acid of amide is ammonia with a pKa of around 38. And the conjugate acid of acetate is acetic acid, which is a carboxylic acid with a pKa of around 5. Using these pKa values, we can plug them into our KEQ formula. KEQ formula is 10 to the product acid pKa minus the reagent acid pKa. So we'll start with this first equation, this first acid-base reaction. KEQ is going to be equal to 10 to the 38th minus 16. And that means KEQ will be equal to, what is that, 22? 10 to the 22. This will be favorable uh, towards the products uh, with the KEQ of 10 to the 22nd. For the other possibility, KEQ will be equal to the product pKa5 minus 16. And what is that? Minus 11? 10 to the minus 11? So this particular acid base reaction favors the reagents whereas the acid-base reaction with amide favors the products. And so there's a huge difference in KEQ here. So that tells me that the amide will more favorably, more easily deprotonate the alcohol compared to the acetate.